Imagine for a moment the vastness of space, swirling galaxies, igniting stars. Now, imagine another energy very similar to this. The energy that is as potent, that is as full of potential. The energy of youth. Yes, the energy of young people. You see, this is what we are here today to explore. The physics of youth. I know, I know. It may seem like a very different, a very unusual thing. You see, these unrelated worlds of physics and youth lies a profound discovery of parallels. We will be talking about that today. You see, physics is everywhere. I bet you this is not going to be like your middle school physics class. But physics is literally everywhere. Yes, I bet you. You know, it is also the reason why your phone sticks to the refrigerator. Well, well, now don't try this at home. The energy. Now we'll talk about the fundamental building block of the universe. Energy. It is the sole reason of wow, a gentle dance of subatomic particle to the explosive birth of supernova happens. You see, this is how we young people work. The energy of young people is that we have the enthusiasm, the uncontrollable curiosity, the unwavered optimism. That is our energy, the youth energy. This energy also helps us to navigate the world and which makes us, the young people, not just make the world something that we are going to build tomorrow as a probable but possible for sure. But energy, raw energy is like a powerful storm. A powerful storm like this needs direction. You see, in physics, we have vectors. The vectors is what explains the direction and the magnitude of a force. Similar to this, we young people need guidance to channel our energy effectively. We need mentors, role models and educators to channel and to direct our energy in the right way, the positive way. Now, think of the young mind as a black hole. You see, these celestial giants, they are shrouded in mystery. The secrets that they hold are yet to be discovered. Similar to that, we young people have the potential, our hidden potentials, which is here to open up new possibilities to this world. And you see, we talk about black holes. Now, what else? Hmm. You see, the sole reason that we young people exist and we are making things happen today is the imagination. We imagine, we paint the canvas of this world with the power of imagination, the vibrant colors of imagination. This is where curiosity comes in. You see, we young people have this innate quality of curiosity. We ask things about how this happens, how that happens. These questions mold us into us. Now comes the partner in progress for curiosity, the critical thinking. Just like scientists do not accept everything at face value, similarly, we young people do not accept things at once. We question, we challenge the social norms that is already present. You see, critical thinking is like that anti-gravity force that will pull us out from the tides of conformity and bias information. For this, we need to develop the skill to question things, 
to ask why, to ask how things happen. We young people are here to do things that is happening today. And one more thing now that we are talking about curiosity, critical thinking is that the power of collaboration. You see in physics, we understand the concept. We always try to focus on the bigger things that we do. Imagine the possibilities that we young people can do with the power of collaboration. The endless possibilities. You see, we understand that the whole is always or more often greater than the sum of its parts. Similarly, we young people, when we come together, pool our creativity, the spirit, our diverse perspective, a big, massive explosion of good things happen, the positive change happen. You would ask me, well, what does the physics of youth teach us? But before that, let me remind you one thing. Do you remember those uh, speeches, those motivating talks where they say, youth are the leaders of tomorrow, young people are the pillars of tomorrow. But I believe that we are not just the future, we are the present. The future is now. You see, forget about preordained trajectories. We young people are weaving new possibilities. So the question is not about how will the future turn out to be. The question is, what will we co-create? Thank you for your time and patience.